Welcome to Next Lesson Music, and before we get to the lesson, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Today we're going to learn about power chords. Power chords is very, it's very essential in music, but most, uh, mostly in rock. Okay, so today uh, we're going to learn some ryth uh, rhythm patterns. Okay, so uh, what is a power chord? First, is basically it's the first and the fifth degree of uh, of any chord. So for example, let's take G, the bar chord, right? So if we do a G major scale, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we tend to use the first and the fifth, all right? And to and and together they sound like this, all right? With a little bit of boost of uh, distortions, sounds like this. Okay. So today we're gonna learn about E uh, E power chord, and then G, and then A. So how we play the uh, E, so basically it's open E, open last string, and then the fifth uh, string on the, on the second fret. And then after that, we're going to take that same pattern, uh, we're going to put it into G, the one I played just recently. So the first, our first finger on the third fret, one, two, three. And then our third finger on the, on the fifth fret of the, the, of the fifth string, right? And together they sound like this. Now, uh, that's G power chord. And to bring it down, just bring it down twice to make an A power chord. So from here, you count twice, one, two, and you have A power chord. In theory, it, it's called uh, E5, G5, and A5, but that's something else, okay? So the rhythm that I wanna teach you is the palm muting. All right, the palm, first the palm muting. And what, what, what is it? So every uh, in your bridge, you tend to use your your your, um, your part of your palm right here, and you just tend to block it, right? Just not not all the way, but almost towards. It sounds like muffled, all right. But if you have it a lot forward, you, you can't hear nothing. Like yeah, but it won't sound as as muffled as properly, right? Okay. So the rhythm that we're going to be using is this, the following. So we're going to use E, right? E5. So it's so on your on your on your palm muting, we're going to do a basic rhythm, right? So it's 1 2 3 and then 4. But we're going to change it change it a bit. On the fourth, you're going to raise up your hand and just basically uh uh, uh play open. So, it sounds like this. 1 2 three and then four open so fast one two three four one two three four all right to make it make it a bit dynamic so we're gonna use the the first three of e5 right so one two three and then uh the first of the first four of, of, of the e uh we can use the the e one like that so one two three four and then we're gonna go back again. So one, two, three, and on that fourth, we could go. We're gonna go all the way to G, G five, on the third fret. So it sounds like this: one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little fast to to motivate. So okay, and then you're gonna after you play G on the fourth time, we're gonna go back again to E. One, two, three, and then that fourth, we're gonna go all the way to the A5. So together they sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then back. The same rhythm. So in, 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 uh, going fast sounds like this. Now you could play around with it. You could go all the way right here. It's it's, it's your way. It, it won't sound bad uh, as well. So one two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. And keep on going, right? All right. So the same thing that that I, I just taught you, right? We did the uh, on the E position, right? When I mean by E, piece, e position, 
it's on the E string and then the A string. Now, the same thing you could do is on the A string as well. A and D string. So the same the same pattern, right? Our first finger is going to go down uh, uh, down the string and on the second fret. And then we're going to play A5 and then uh, C5 and then D5. And the same rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fast. Okay. So there you have it. If you have, uh, if you put a, a bit of distortion, right? All right. And on the A position. Just keep on repeating it and it should sound like this. And finish it off on it. So I hope you, you enjoyed and, and practice these power chords and enjoy them to the fullest and keep on practicing and see you on the next video.